big topic for families sitting the road is what to do about coffee. Um, all of us, especially parents with little kids, uh, need to make sure that we are um, uh, got our coffee fix in the morning. So um, there's plenty of different options for coffee, but we found one that we think is really good, suits us well. Um, a lot of people do the pod machines, and we don't necessarily like the coffee that comes out of the pod machines that much, and need a big inverter and to, to run them. Um, and you know, it creates a lot of waste in the pods as well. So, um, what we do is we've got um, the Bialetti coffee pot and matching milk thruffer, and we make up our coffee in that. And so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how that all works and, and what the end result is. I know. So it's just a matter of filling up water in the in the pot, um, just below the, the, the valve here. Uh, so we just fill up that with some fresh drinking water and then we put our coffee in so we drop that in there we're using some we, we tend to buy local coffee where we can or, or at least stuff that's roasted locally so we're using this infused coffee at the moment over here in tasmania um, so we're going to pop some of that in there mm, smells good we found uh, when we bought this coffee we um, found one of those grocery stores that has the old grinder actually in the in the shop so uh, in the in the grocery store so we actually ground this it was beans originally but we ground it in the shop so um, I'm not sure how we've gone with the, the fineness of it but uh, it'll be good either way so once you've got the coffee in there you've got your water in there it's just a matter of just winding the top on Popping it on the stove and starting the stove up. And then we need to pop some milk in our milk frother to warm that up. Give an experiment to find out how much milk you need, but you sort of get used to it after a while. And pop that on as well. And we find if both go on at about the same time, they are both ready at the same time as well. The milk goes on low, obviously, so that it doesn't um, doesn't boil or, or burn the bottom. There is that. Coffee just bubbling out the top there. And once the milk started uh, bubbling around the edges a little bit, it's well and truly warm enough, so we take that off as well. But also everything's ready, that whole process of, of warming the milk and, and um, getting the coffee ready only takes a couple of minutes at most, it's quite quick especially on the gas cooktop. Um, so now we've got our warm milk, we've got our, our plunger with, which throths the milk, so we're going to pop that in there now. And it's just a matter of just sending that plunger up and down a few times and what you end up with is gorgeous milk froth. So you can see here we've got really nice frothy milk. Now I'm no barista so what I do from here on in may not be correct um, but it just works for us and I think it tastes quite reasonable so we've, we've just sort of stuck with that. But if you do have any tips let me know um, because I'd love to keep improving our coffee. So um, what I tend to do is the you, yeah, you sort of end up with like the real thick milk froth on the top and so I, I pop that in the in the cup first um, just to get that off the top of our, our milk and just get it settled in the cup. Um, so uh, pop that in there. Um, we've got now this uh, coffee and you can see in there if you have a look at that there's a heap of really nice coffee in there. Um, these, they do say these pots are supposed to make more, you know, enough for four. Yeah, we like our coffee strong, so we tend to use most of it up. So I just um, pop that into and sort of mix it through the milk froth. We have cappuccino, so we've got some um, chocolate to go on top. Um, need a bit of a chocolate fix every day, as well as a coffee fix. So that in. Mm. 
So now we've laid up our milk froth, our uh, our coffee sort of mixed through it nicely and our, our chocolate on top. I, I just get the rest of this milk that we've got here and I just sort of tend to put, pour it down the side a little bit um, so it doesn't sort of wreck the top of the coffee. And you see there there's that nice sort of milk frothy top coming up. And there we have it, two really nice cappuccinos ready to go. Mmm, so good.